Installing Drushmake is pretty easy, and it's a good example of how to install any extension for Drush. So to begin with, we're going to go to the project page, which is at drupal.org slash project slash drush underscore make. Now this is not a module. So as we scroll down and we look at the version here, this doesn't correspond to a particular version of Drupal. This version of Drush should work on any later version of Drupal. So let's go ahead and download this. I'm going to go ahead and click on the tar.gz file, and I'm going to download it and expand it. Once it's downloaded and expanded, we can go ahead and copy the folder. And now we can put this extension in two different places. The first is in our base directory for a Drupal site. And that's only if we want this make extension to be applicable in that directory, or more likely, if we want it globally accessible across all of our different Drupal installs, we would put it in our .drush folder that's in our user directory. So for me, that's going to be slash users slash Chris Shattuck. But of course, this will be different depending on your operating system. To find out where your user directory is, on the command line, you can type cd tilde and then do pwd and that will show you exactly where your user directory is. Now in our previous videos, I'm going to jump back to the file directory, we added a couple of configuration files to our .drush folder. But if you didn't follow those, you'll need to set up a .drush folder inside of this user directory for this to work. I'm going to go ahead and paste in the drushmake folder. And at this point, we're ready to go. So in the next step, we'll actually create our make file and run it. 